Hey guys, I apologize for the lighting. I'm sitting directly under a light and it's not very good. But then again, our camera stuff's never really very good. Anyway, but I wanted to tell you guys, I'm going to take Joe's reflex bag. This is solid steel here. This, this uh, is constructed. It's very heavy. And uh, this ain't the bags like you'd, you'd get from Tidal or Everlast or whoever sells these, the rinky dink ones. Uh, you can spend, I believe, a thousand or fifteen hundred dollars on a Cobra reflex bag as well, which is ridiculous. This was made, uh, <clears throat> handmade by a machinist in Bogota. And I don't know if it'll show up here, but you can kind of see it's this is solid steel and Joe snapped it. And we've had a lot of problems with equipment and the the equipment that we use here at the house, of course, only Joe uses. So it's not like you'd be in a gym where you'd have a bunch of uh normal equipment breakdowns or malfunctions. I can't remember. Maybe I'll go back and look and see the uh, I believe I took a video. I know I took some photos uh, where Joe's just busting the hinges off of the speed bags and stuff. And Really, I don't mind replacing any of the stuff because it makes me happy. Uh, that Joe's such a hard hitter. Uh, but with these reflex bags, they break and bust and uh, tear up. But this thing ain't supposed to do that. This, again, this is solid steel. Uh, this thing is heavy. The whole thing is constructed heavily. Uh, the whole base is heavy. And... Uh, of course, the speed bag hinges are steel. Um, but we got, I wanted to tell folks, if you're having any problems, uh, especially the gym owners in your gym, uh, when we switched over, I don't know who makes it. I know someone else makes it, but we switched over to a uh, the UFC uh uh, hinges and bases for the speed bags and we haven't had any problems as of yet uh, with anything uh, by them. We have had uh, some of these bags and Joe's literally busted holes in these bags. Not busted seams. Just busted big holes and through the bladder and the outer covering and all of that and I believe maybe I have a photo even on YouTube of that so he's a hard hitter and I'm very proud of that the other thing I wanted to say quickly is uh, for those of you that might not know uh, and you may be seen later if you don't know Evidently, Deontay Wilder, former WBC heavyweight champion of the world, got picked up on a gun charge. I guess that his car was stopped and they searched and he had a concealed gun. Problem really is, is he wasn't in Alabama or he would have been just fine. So I suppose maybe they drove or rented a car and they were in California. But a lot of people are ragging on him right now. And folks, let me tell you something. If you think, just be, uh, number one, if he's going around without security, he needs to have a gun on him. Uh, if he doesn't have people around him uh, carrying firearms, he needs to have one. Uh, people will try you when you're famous, and especially... If you're a, a, a professional athlete or specifically a boxing or UFC or a bare knuckle champion, you can run into people out there that will try to test you. So 
in the immortal words of the still living but legendary Larry Holmes, don't knock a fella, give a fella a break. Uh, because you don't know your boxing history. If you did, uh, look, Sonny Liston was repeatedly locked up for almost physically beating to death cops, policemen. I shoved a policeman in a garbage can and I believe broke his leg or his kneecap uh, by striking him. And uh, folks, you got to, uh, we're fortunate around here. I've had my share of scrapes and skedaddles and troubles. Uh, Joe's is uh, what you'd call a square. I guess you still use those terms. Thank God. Uh, but a lot of these guys, they and you want them to come from uh, riled up incidents in life. Because if if none of these guys have battle scars on them, you will see no boxing. You will see nothing real. And it's getting today to where you're not watching real boxing anyway. And uh, I don't think I've seen a very good uh, uh, fight since maybe Gaddy Ward. I can't remember. I'm sure there's been some good fights since then. Uh, the Fury Wilder uh, saga was very good too. So that was after... Uh, Gaddy Ward, but uh, again, in the famous words of Larry Holmes, don't knock a fella, give a fella a break. Uh, that's nothing, and we should hope that our champions and recent former champions are arming themselves when they are traveling because if they don't have guards they need to be on so I just wanted to say that quickly too I want to say God bless everybody uh, and we'll see you maybe we'll put something out tomorrow hopefully we can, I can get this bag uh, this spring welded on to the insert that goes into the base and hopefully we can get that welded uh, somehow or another to repair this thing uh, hopefully they don't have to make a new spring and whole assembly for this because uh, I don't know of anybody around here that can do that and I'm 10 hours away from Bogota so that's a far stretch so and this is about the only thing we really put out uh, for Joe, we don't like showing what we're doing. Uh, young boxers, please don't be showing all the stuff that you're doing. Even the sparring that we've put out has been very slow, easy sparring. It's been nothing highly aggressive or showing uh, all of Joe's wares or anything like that. And you don't need to be out here uh, showing every everybody everything or people just look online and they'll figure you out i'm gonna have a video coming out i'll probably put it out tomorrow where a friend of ours if you're watching this i know you'll know it's you i'm not going to mention the state you're in but you are in the south this is because i don't want nobody to see that we're gonna what we're gonna do with concerns to you which is good nothing bad but we're gonna we're just gonna uh, try to give you a few things to do because you've been uh, blessed full enough to blessing us that we've been able to uh, see your some of your matches uh, in, in tournaments and uh, Joe and I both have sat and studied some film uh, with you, and we're going to try to, we, we've come up with a, two little things that we think is going to change your boxing world, and 
uh, especially change your rematch with this fella that I don't think beat you anyway, but you lost narrowly on points too. But I have a funny feeling that if you just use a little bit of what, what we're going to uh, show you tomorrow, that uh, nothing will be up to points uh, the next time. So to you, friend, we love you. And to everybody else, we love you too. And thank you for watching this video. And uh, hopefully we'll get this bag fixed soon and get some more shorts out. Uh, short videos were at, I believe, around 975 or 78 subscribers. And we really want to break that thousand. Uh, we're really, we don't have the hours built up for Joe to make any tournament traveling money or anything like that that can help him out a little bit uh, on possibly maybe going to the UK or the certainly to the US uh, which is going to be very expensive for us but uh, we'll do it anyway we'll always find ways to do what we need to do and uh, blessings to everybody and uh, hopefully we'll see you soon Everybody have a good evening. Much love to you, and may the Lord Jesus bless you.